Currently, Tesla has begun small-scale production of the Optimus Gen 3 robot at Fremont with a target of 5,000 units. The assembly process includes over 28 drive units, two FSD chips, 1,000 mechanical components, and a 360-degree sensor system. Each robot must pass 72 hours of continuous testing before being shipped. So, how does Tesla ensure the precision and quality of each component in Optimus production? Before we begin, please help us reach 6,200 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Model Q, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. What has Tesla done to optimize the production process of Optimus Gen 3? Tesla's ambition doesn't stop at the pilot stage. Within the next one to two years, Tesla plans to expand Optimus production to Giga, Texas, one of the world's largest factories, covering nearly 10 million square feet. At the same time, Giga Mexico, expected to be completed by the end of 2025, will also play a key role in scaling up humanoid robot manufacturing. If each factory can produce 500,000 units per year, Tesla's global output could surpass 1 million robots annually by 2027 or 2028. Can you imagine a world where every business, warehouse, and even household is supported by its own Optimus? The core of Tesla's ability to produce robots at low cost doesn't lie in using cheap materials, but in a minimalist and highly optimized design philosophy. The Optimus Gen 3 is entirely modular in design, and each component such as the arms, hands, legs, back, battery, and the brain processor can be detached and replaced with ease. This not only simplifies assembly, but also greatly facilitates repair, maintenance, and future upgrades. This is the same design mindset that helped Tesla succeed in producing electric vehicles with high automation and low cost. A clear example of this is the actuator systems in the robot's arms and legs, which are based on the same platform as the electric motors used in the Model 3, with only minor modifications. This allows Tesla to leverage existing production scale without the need for entirely new manufacturing lines. As for the battery, Optimus uses a pack of about 2.3 kilowatt hours, based on the 4,680 cell format, which Tesla has already optimized for cost-efficient mass production at Giga Texas. Thanks to these shared components, the material and labor cost per robot is estimated to be 10 times lower than that of robots from Boston Dynamics or Agility Robotics. You might think that the black and white paint on Optimus is merely for aesthetic purposes. However, this coating plays a crucial role in the robot's durability and performance. Tesla uses a magnesium aluminum alloy to form Optimus's outer shell, a material known for its lightweight and high strength. Compared to conventional aluminum alloys, magnesium aluminum alloys have a lower weight ratio, reducing the robot's overall mass. Optimus Gen 3 weighs only about 73 kilograms, nearly 20% lighter than competitors like the robots from Figure AI weighing about 90 kilograms and Agility Robotics weighing around 80 kilograms. While these competitors use durable but heavier materials, Optimus still manages to carry up to 20 kilograms showcasing Tesla's design optimization. This lightweight design enables Optimus to move more flexibly across various terrains and reduces the load on the motors, which in turn improves operational efficiency. The coating on Optimus is applied using electrostatic painting technology, a method Tesla has successfully used in the automotive manufacturing industry. This technology creates a thin, durable, and even layer of paint that protects the metal surface from environmental factors such as corrosion, dirt, and electrostatic shock. In fact, electrostatic painting reduces paint waste during the coating process and minimizes excess paint, helping to save on production costs. Meanwhile, competitors like Agility Robotics and Figure AI use traditional painting methods, but the protection and durability of their coatings may not be as optimal as the electrostatic painting technology Tesla uses. Tesla has improved this process to ensure that the coating is highly durable without affecting the robot's performance. In addition to the outer layer, the internal frame of Optimus is also designed to reduce weight while maintaining strength. The internal frame uses a honeycomb structure, 
a design known for its high load-bearing capacity but low weight. This not only helps reduce the overall weight but also increases the robot's impact resistance when working in harsh environments. Competitors like Agility Robotics and Figure AI also use aluminum alloys for their internal frames but do not employ the honeycomb structure, resulting in heavier frames that are less efficient in reducing weight while maintaining durability. Notably, the arms and elbow joints of Optimus are covered with a soft TPU plastic layer, which helps reduce injury when the robot makes direct contact with humans. This is an important step in ensuring safety in environments where robots may interact directly with people. While competitors are also focusing on safety, they have not yet achieved the same level of design flexibility as Tesla. With these improvements, Tesla is not only optimizing its production process but also reducing costs and manufacturing time, which is crucial as Tesla aims to produce millions of Optimus robots. Simplifying the process, using lightweight materials, and employing advanced coding technologies helps Tesla minimize manufacturing complexity while ensuring that the robots can operate efficiently and last longer. Once again, please help us reach 6,200 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. How does Tesla build the Optimus Gen 3's brain, and how is its quality and lifespan tested? Tesla Optimus Gen 3 is not only a robot with powerful hardware, but is also equipped with an advanced AI operating system. Developed from Tesla's full self-driving FSD platform. This means that Optimus does not just perform pre-programmed tasks, but also has the ability to learn from its environment and real-world situations through 3D spatial recognition, image data analysis and decision-making based on data collected from sensors and cameras. This AI system uses Tesla's custom-designed FSD chip optimized to process hundreds of thousands of operations per second with integrated memory more powerful than supercomputers from 10 years ago. Thanks to this capability, Optimus can learn and adapt to its environment flexibly and accurately, not limited by fixed programs. The production and assembly process of Optimus Gen 3 is a fully optimized process. Tesla not only relies on automation techniques and modern technology, but also leverages data collected from cameras and sensors within its factory to train the robot. This helps Tesla optimize every movement of the robot, from simple tasks like bending down and picking things up to more complex motions like walking. The machine learning system is continuously applied, updating and improving Optimus's abilities over time, allowing the robot to quickly adapt to changes in real-world environments. This enables Optimus to not only operate efficiently, but also to learn tasks like folding clothes within hours of observation, a task that previously only humans could perform with such accuracy and efficiency. Additionally, the quality control and lifetime assurance process of Optimus Gen 3 plays an extremely important role in ensuring that the robot meets high quality standards before being delivered to customers. Each robot must pass a series of rigorous tests including mechanical tests, torque, joint pressure, electronics tests, sensor checks, drive signal tests, software tests, reaction to situations, latency, and continuous load testing. During this process, Optimus must operate non-stop for 72 hours in various conditions, from factory simulations to warehouse and household environment simulations, ensuring that the robot can operate effectively in all settings. An important factor that cannot be overlooked is the lifespan of Optimus Gen 3. With a design optimized for over 10 years of use, equivalent to about 20,000 hours of operation, Optimus Gen 3 has a lifespan twice as long as current standard robots. This not only ensures the robot's durability, but also helps Tesla reduce maintenance and upgrade costs throughout the product's life cycle while providing long-term value to users. Tesla applies an optimized production line combining modular design, which makes the production and replacement of Optimus parts fast and easy. Ultralight materials such as magnesium aluminum alloys and soft TPU plastics are used to create a robot that is durable, flexible, and helps reduce production costs while ensuring quality. The combination of optimized hardware, a powerful AI operating system, and a stringent quality control process 
helps Tesla gradually turn the dream of mass-market humanoid robots into reality. With a target price of under $10,000, Optimus Gen 3 is expected to revolutionize industries, from manufacturing plants and warehouses to applications in everyday life. Tesla is not only creating a high-tech product, but also reshaping how robots are produced and used in the future. The question is no longer whether robots can replace humans in tasks, but when Optimus will appear in every household, company, and factory globally. How far along is Tesla in scaling up production of the Optimus Gen 3 robot? As of May 2025, Tesla is transitioning from the testing phase to small-scale production of the Optimus Gen 3 humanoid robot. The pilot production line is currently located at the Fremont factory in California, with an initial goal of producing 5,000 robots this year. However, Elon Musk revealed that Tesla has prepared enough components to scale up to 10,000 to 12,000 units. This is a preparatory step for a larger production ramp-up, planned for 2026. Optimus Gen 3 is designed to perform repetitive and dangerous tasks in industrial environments with a vision to expand into civilian applications. Each robot is equipped with an advanced AI system that allows it to learn and adapt to its work environment. These advancements enable the robot to not only operate based on rigid programming, but also learn from real-world experiences and improve its behavior over time. However, the production process has not been without challenges. One of the biggest obstacles is the reliance on rare earth magnets like neodymium and dysprosium to produce motors and actuators. About 90% of the supply of these materials comes from China, which has tightened export regulations, forcing companies like Tesla to obtain special licenses for imports. This poses a significant risk of disrupting the supply chain, especially as Tesla needs stability to scale production. Additionally, developing an entirely new product like Optimus comes with numerous technical challenges. From precise mechanical design and optimizing the robot's structure to integrating complex AI software, every step requires tight control. Especially in a high-speed manufacturing environment, small yet critical errors can arise if not properly managed. Elon Musk acknowledged that accelerating the production of an unprecedented product is a high-risk process prone to unexpected bottlenecks. Nonetheless, Tesla has a clear acceleration plan. In 2026, the company expects to produce around 50,000 Optimus Gen 3 robots and aims to reach millions of units annually within the next four to five years. To achieve this, Tesla is implementing a series of strategic solutions. First, is supply chain diversification. Tesla is looking for magnet suppliers from other countries like Australia and Canada, while also intensifying research into developing rare earth-free motors. In addition, Tesla is investing in recycling technology to recover valuable materials from electronic waste, a move that helps reduce costs and reliance on foreign supplies. In terms of production, Tesla is using Optimus itself within its factories to perform tasks like transporting components, assisting with assembly, and quality control. This approach not only helps reduce labor costs, but also provides real-world data to improve the robot's performance and stability before releasing it to the consumer market. Despite the challenges, with strong technological capabilities, leading-edge AI integration, and large-scale manufacturing experience from the electric vehicle industry, Optimus Gen 3 is seen as a strategic step forward for Tesla. If successful in commercialization, this robot model could change how factories, warehouses, and even households operate. However, to realize this vision, Tesla must overcome many challenges, from supply chain issues and refining hardware-software integration to meeting safety standards in real-world environments. With competitors like Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, and figure AI closely following. The pressure to innovate and maintain a production speed advantage is growing for Tesla. If Tesla maintains its current pace of improvement, Optimus Gen 3 could become the new symbol of the humanoid robot industry's transformation worldwide, where robots are no longer a distant future, but a part of the existing workforce in factories, warehouses, and even in every home.
We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.